Hey you! Do you have a story to tell? Do you have a voice that is dying to be heard? Do you want to inspire people? You're not hearing this message by mistake. This is Destiny calling. I know you have a voice inside of you that is dying to be heard. This is that opportunity that you've been waiting for. I'm Dr. Billy Owls Brooks, one of the top speakers in the world. And I'm putting together an army. That's right, an army of voices to go out and change the world. I want you to be a part of it. Do you have a story to tell? You didn't go through that struggle for nothing. We gonna turn it into a testimony. I'm launching a seven week Unleash Your Voice speakers class. I'm gonna teach you how to put your story together. How to strategically lay out your message. Show you how to deliver your gift on stage to audiences. I'm gonna show you how to set any room on fire. If you've ever dreamed of being a motivational speaker, this is your opportunity. When this course is over, you're gonna get a chance to get on stage with me. You're gonna get a chance to shine in front of an audience. This is a phenomenal, life-changing opportunity. Do you have a story to tell? Do you have a voice that is dying to be heard? Do you want to make a difference in this world? Do you want your life to have meaning? Then seize this moment, seize this opportunity right now. Get your phone out and text me at 407-258-2011. Text me the words, I have a story to tell. Don't miss this opportunity. There are limited slots available. Everybody's gonna get a chance to get on the stage. So there are limited slots available. Come join the army, the army of voices. Impact one billion. You got a story to tell. Let's go tell it. When you truly buy into your dream, the future will not make you out a liar. Opportunity stalks people that know what they want in life. Now the people closest around you will be the last to see the change in you. Class is in session. Fire troop music. Now the foundation of greatness is built on the crown. With each letter of the word crown representing a law or element of success that we must tap into if we want to go to that next level. Now C is the first letter in the word crown. And it stands for consistency. What you do day to day, consistently, will reveal to the world your true level of commitment. The first page in my book says, success is a marathon of consistency walked out one day at a time. It's not a sprint. Now hear me out. When effective action marries consistency, greatness is born. That next level. Next level greatness is birthed out of consistently aligning your mind, mouth, and actions with the fundamental laws of success. Our everyday world is just the sum total of our most dominant thought patterns. Lack, sickness, and failure cannot sustain themselves in an environment of high vibrational thoughts. If you think greatness, if you constantly meditate on the things that it takes to go to that next level, the next level must bow to you. When you truly Buy into the dream, your actions will reflect that which you have bought. A thought sustained long enough will eventually produce an equivalent outcome. Small, aligned actions wrapped with consistency eventually produce massive results. The process of success requires you dominating every second of the day. To go to that next level, you have to dominate the small things. If you dominate the small things, eventually the big things will come back. You. Real fate will bend and shape reality. That brings us to R, the second letter in the word crown. And that R stands for real. The key to liberation is embracing your own truth. It's keeping it real with yourself and those around you. A disciplined mind rooted in truth can do the impossible. When you align yourself with the real, all the barriers, obstacles, and limitations that you felt in your life will be begin to dissolve and dissipate right before your eyes. Those who wrap themselves in truth become unstoppable. Those who don't respect truth will choke on the lies and illusions of life. Surround yourself with those who cannot breathe without keeping it real. Success stalks those who wear authenticity.
In today's world, real is rare, and anyone who can boldly commit to it will have a lane all to themselves. Truth is the couture for greatness, and every time you face something you fear in truth, you go to a deeper level of growth, awareness, and personal power. Those who chase trends instead of pursuing their own truth disqualify themselves from greatness. If you want to have a niche, an advantage in business, make real your foundation. Every decision you make for your business, filter it through the value of being real. Be real with your customers. Be real with your employees. Be real with yourself. Those who can keep it real are in the least contested, least competitive, but most in demand market there is in the business place today. Truth is the language of those who are alive. To walk in truth is to vibrate at the highest level of human existence. The world does not need another carbon copy of somebody that you admire. You can learn from them, yes, but eventually you have to be you, the one God designed you to be. The DNA that you have on the inside of you has greatness in it. Some of you want the approval of others more than you want success, and that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you why. See, the need for approval pollutes the raw truth required to achieve greatness. Now the third letter in crown is O, and that O stands for own it. Never rent, lease, or borrow success. Own it. Decide what it is that you really want in life. Then plant your flag deep down in that dirt. Go put the money down at the title office, get the deed. Go get the U-Haul, pack your stuff up, and move there and never leave. Your work ethic will reveal to the world whether you are a permanent resident of success or whether you are just a tourist passing through. Only when good stops being enough will greatness reveal itself. Some say they are loyal to greatness, but in reality they have a mistress called Average. Stop having affairs with mediocrity and own that which you say you want. If you really want to taste greatness, then you have to be willing to give up and let go of every belief system, every word, thought, and action that is keeping you at the level you are at now. Champions make adjustments, not excuses. Winners take full responsibility of their outcomes. They own their situations. In order for self-help books, positive quotes, or motivational videos to change your life, they have to be absorbed more than just in your mind. They have to take root down in your spirit. Someone with real faith needs no external validation. They just own their dream with absolute belief. Own it. That brings us to the fourth letter in crown. W, which stands for winners win. See, champions that win on a consistent basis, they do so because they think different. You see, winners refuse to go to bed until they are better than they were yesterday. If average is not good enough, and greatness is what you want, then you have to create an environment conducive for that. Now I grew up in North Alabama, and college football is all we know. From the time I was one week old, I was sitting on my daddy's knee watching Bear Bryant lead his team out on the field. He created a culture there at the University of Alabama that is still alive today. Back in Coach Bryant's time, they used to play 12 games a year. To go 11 and one was an off year. See, in most schools, 11 and one would've got you a raise, would've put you in the Hall of Fame there at the university, but not at the University of Alabama. We didn't come for 11 and one, we came for the ring, we came for the trophy, we come for the legacy, it's bigger than that. And that environment, that culture that Coach Bryant created years ago is still going on with Nick Saban today. Five national championships later, now this past year, they got beat in the national championship game with 14 and one. Beat every opponent by 10 plus points during the regular season. One of the greatest seasons of all time, but they did not win the championship. It was a failure this year. And if you don't believe me, just look how many coaches are on staff this year that was on staff last year. Winners win. Now growing up, I was a national champion in martial arts, four time state champion, trained with the Olympic team. And people used to ask me, uh, do your parents put you under all the stress to win all the time? I said, no. This is my identity. This is who I am. The desire to win comes from the inside out, not the outside in. 
Winners have it on the inside The times I experience the most discontentment Or the most stress Is when I'm not living up to my own inner standard Not the standard that somebody put on me But the standard that I live by The one that's on the inside of me The DNA or that red clay mud that I come from That says 11 to 1 is not good enough Winners win Now Dabo Sweeney Took that same culture, that same way of thinking, that mindset, that heart, that DNA of greatness. He took it over to Clemson. He exported the culture, the environment, the mindset, and set it up in Clemson. The results speak for themselves. Two national championships later. Winners win. Whatever you win in the mind, you will eventually win in the body. Whatever you conquer in the mental, you will eventually conquer in the physical. You gotta win first. In your mind That brings us to the last letter in crown Which is N Which stands for no excuses Some of you need to hear me now Champions don't make excuses Champions make adjustments Average is a deadly Rapid spreading disease This plague is responsible for killing The aspirations and dreams of millions If you have to fail at something in life Let it be mediocrity Being a champion in life Requires understanding every aspect of your opponent and the best way to do this is to look in the mirror that's your opponent right there you if you spend as much time grinding and doing the things that it takes to be successful as you did running your mouth giving excuses to why you couldn't do something you would already have success right now every time you pop up in my news feed i see another excuse from you somebody don't believe in you somebody won't open the door for you they won't give you an opportunity you say you lost that promotion to politics you say you can't go to the next level because of your skin color you too tall you too short, you too fat, your background, you don't have the right connections, you don't come from the country club, all of that is just an excuse. Stop whining and start grinding. Nothing can be denied, the one that won't be denied. Your legacy won't be defined by how many supporters you have, but rather how you responded when people didn't support you. The moment you no longer need the validation of others to keep going is the moment you become unstoppable. When you can get to the point that your demeanor doesn't change when people don't support you you then you are ready for success the people destiny has assigned to you will recognize your talent those who don't are not part of your destiny now to close out i want you to say this with me from this moment forward i declare war on mediocrity average is the plague and i will have nothing to do with it i will not live financially limited any longer i will not make excuses for my own I will own my dream with my mind and my actions I will refuse to concede to any other outcome than the one I believe for I will go to war with being overweight With being somebody else that I was never meant to be I will live in truth every single moment of my life I will no longer bow to fear I will make fear bow to me Failure is not an option for me no matter how many times I get knocked down, I will keep getting back up. And when I'm dead and gone, and they put me in the ground, they will say, there lies a person who truly lived. This is Billy Osbrooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable. And to God be the glory. Fire true music, keep burning. Are you ready to change your life? Are you going through the struggle? Are you tired of being average? Has your relationship lost that spark? Do you feel like you're missing something? You don't have to stay that way. Decisions ignite the explosion of change. This is Dr. Billy Allsbrooks, and I'm so excited to announce my new release, Burning the Inner Symphony of Fire. This three volume book set is gonna change the game. It is the match that will set your life on fire. This book is a mind grenade that will change everything. This set includes over 1,250 success quotes, 360 self-assessment questions, over 230 poems, 62 daily devotionals, 62 positive affirmations, 62 inspirational messages. This book is going to change the world. You can't think your way to the top. You got to burn your way there. Get your copy now at blessedandunstoppable.com. You couldn't see me. And you couldn't see my dream. 
Zero. Opportunity has a mindset required to see it, and you couldn't see it. Now, I've been around long enough to know the haters are gonna hate, no matter what you do. So the way I see it, if they gonna hate, I'm gonna make them go all in on that jealousy. Ain't gonna be no halfway hating. See, what separates me from you is I ain't afraid to be alone. I'm afraid of being surrounded by mediocre people who want me to be just like them. I didn't expect nobody else to put me on. I knew if I wanted to be on, I was gonna have to put myself on. So I adopted that David spirit that says God lives in me. And then I said to the world, who dare come against the name of the Lord? That warrior in you, that warrior in you knows me. There's a difference between talking about the struggle and actually being born from me. I accepted this a long time ago. I'm just different. And I gotta get comfortable being different. I'm not like everybody else. That nine to five is not enough for me. I got global dreams, massive ambitions with kingdom intentions. Class is in session. The first lesson in chemistry is to survive the night. The second, don't expect more than to come. If you're from the struggle, then you understand what I'm saying right now. What others call trauma, I call home. What others call pain, I call foreplay. Sometimes in life, you just gotta want it. How bad do you want it? You gotta want it so much that nothing can stand in your way. Nothing can be denied the one that won't be denied. You don't scare me. I ain't scared. You don't know what it's like to wrestle with a head full of ghosts. I didn't find my faith in some Sunday school pew. I found it in the trenches. Hey, I need to say this. Somebody needs to hear this. Just because a person says a prayer with you doesn't mean they're God sent. I see you. Look around, boy. Look around. There's some people in your clique right now that don't belong. There's some people on your team holding you back. I see you. There's some wolves in sheep clothing sitting right next to you. I don't look the way you think I should look. <laughs> so you underestimate me. You don't know my father. And that's your downfall. Greatness is not an achievement. It's an identity. Who are you? Real, recognize real. Greatness. Must be lived through the I am, not the I wish. You can't buy championships with excuses. You know I gotta be real with you. I see you. It's time to be honest with yourself. Part-time effort won't produce a full-time payoff. Don't get mad at me. You won't reach your full potential until you're ready to go all in 24-7, 365 on your dreams. Destiny doesn't respond to wishing and hoping. It responds to commitment, discipline. Now what are you willing to commit to? That's what I wanna know. See, the common person's problem is they gotta have it all figured out before they take that step, before they make that move, before they go all in. See, where I come from, the bottom, there ain't no trust fund, no backup plan. We go 120. You either make it or you don't. Some of you out there, you wanna feel safe more than you wanna be great. Sometimes you gotta pack it all up, put it in the U-Haul, and move. 1,200 miles, move away from everything you know, everybody you know, and go all in on that dream. Before you are qualified to be the greatest version of you, you gotta be willing to kill that mediocre one off. If good is good enough for you, please right click and turn me off. I don't need any more complacent people around me. I don't need any more good. I'm looking for great. If you wanna be great, then turn me off. I ain't worried about COVID or Omicron infecting me. I'm more worried about your doubt getting on me. Average is the play. I ain't apologizing cause you can't see the dream. I ain't apologizing cause you can't see me for who I am. That's your downfall. That disqualifies you. It speaks volume about you. It was you that brought that lie. That success was supposed to look a certain way. Not me, but if that was true, then why don't you got success? Why ain't you on the next level? Why you still doing that nine to five? Get one week off a year. I speak for the lost. I speak for the ones who come from nothing. I am the voice in the flame. I represent the misfits, the recovering addicts, the outcasts, the ones the world gave up on, the ex-cons. I speak for you. There's a difference in talking about the struggle and being born from it. This is what it looks like. And there's a difference between telling people about the cross 
and actually empowering them with it. Some people don't understand all this aggression that I bring on these motivational messages. Zero. Some people don't understand why I get so loud. That's because y'all ain't from the struggle. You weren't born from the struggle. Because if you were, you wouldn't be asking that. We talk like this because every day we at war. We in the trenches. Ain't no atheists in foxholes. You can't build today unless you're willing to cut down a few trees. See, that's the modern day church's problem. We got too many in the choir and not enough out here on the front line. You don't know the spiritual enemy we are facing. You can't beat them with that passive Christianity. It is written in James 1, 22. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourself. And I'm going to close with this one. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. This is Dr. Billy Osbrook. And I am blessed and unstoppable. Welcome to the Louvre. Impact 1 billion. Five true music. Motivational art. Burning. Immortal. And to God be the glory. Contrary to popular belief, you can't think your way to the top. You have to burn your way there. Pursue your passion. Set yourself on fire. And the world will come see you burn. B7 you clothing. Fire true music. Wear your identity.